Underscore 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 57 seconds into the trailer for the Barbie movie. Acoustic guitars strum a familiar rhythm as Margot Robbie, who portrays the blonde Mattel doll, drives off in a plastic convertible with Ken, Ryan Gosling, stowed away in the back. Both are singing along with Indigo Girls, Closer to Fine, the 1989 folk rock banger which serves as an anchor for the film's themes of independence and women's empowerment. It is a moment of pure joy on the big screen that hits home today as Barbie makes its streaming debut on Max. For Indigo Girls Amy Ray and Emily Salyers and their fans, the song's placement in the film, moviegoers hear it three times in the one-hour, 54-minute flick, was a welcome surprise that boosted the careers of the Grammy-winning Atlanta duo in 2023. But the song was more than just a blast from the past. It sat alongside music from Dua Lipa, Billie Eilish and Hyam, exposing Indigo Girls' music to new generations. Combined with other film projects, high-profile media coverage and a stint on NPR's Tiny Desk, Amy and Emily have had a banner year. GPB spoke with Indigo Girls about the importance of music and causes during a time of global unrest, their kinship with the Georgia music scene, all things Barbie, and what's next. Blank, underscore transcript This interview has been edited for length and clarity. On the surprises of 2023, three films Christy York Wooten. Before you got to 2023, did you have any idea what was ahead for this year? How much of it was already planned and how much of it just happened? Emily Salyers. Well, we knew that the documentary It's Only Life After All, was in the works because they've been working on it for three, almost four years, I guess, by the time it premiered at Sundance, in January. I forget when we learned exactly, but we didn't know until the certain point that it would be at Sundance. We had no idea that that was going to happen. And then we knew that, the musical film, Glitter and Doom was in the works, but we didn't find out about Barbie until later in the year, and that was a total shocker. So to answer your question, no, I mean, we knew we had some things in the works, like the two films, but no idea about Barbie. Amy Ray. We had put a record out, Look Long, released in May 2020, during the pandemic. It was sort of a great time and an odd time to put a record out. So our expectations, for 2023, were that we would get out there and rediscover playing live in front of people and not just over Zoom and, you know, play these songs and do our thing. And we have a really cool audience that's been super loyal over the years and like a gift, because not everybody has that longevity and an audience. We just feel lucky. I guess things started to feel. The shows when we came back out, felt really magical and just super loaded with emotion and spirit and joy.